Okay, that's started and then go back to here. Okay, go live. Preparing to live stream the meeting, setting up your meeting. Let's go. <clears throat> Sweet. I think we're live. Awesome. Let's go. Let's do it. So what's up, guys? I'm here with Mr. Josh Lockhart. He is the owner of Gloves Auth Agency. Uh, his agency is absolutely exploding and growing, um, especially this month. It'll do close to 200 families helped as a team. And, uh, you know, he, he just had a ton of success. Uh, he has been leveraging TurboTax to book more appointments. Uh, same with a lot of his agents on his team. So I just want to bring him on here and just have him, you know, share his like honest thoughts, opinions uh, on his experience, any tips and tricks, how he uses it. Uh, you know, it's just a tool. Like with, with business, with life, we leverage tools. We leverage money to grow businesses. We leverage tools and and software. If if used correctly, uh, is is a great tool to to leverage and grow and scale even faster and take out a lot of the busy work so we can get focused on doing what we do best, um, selling and recruiting and, and growing and training, right? That's what we want to spend our time on, uh, not manually texting a million people all day long until our thumbs bleed, you know? <laughs> so uh, with that, uh, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let Josh kind of introduce himself uh, real quick here and then, um, yeah, tell him a little bit just who you are and, you know, how long you've been uh, an agent and, and uh, just your experience so far. Absolutely. Yeah. So I've uh, been, I guess, back in the industry 11 months now, uh, 15 years ago, I sold life insurance. That sounds crazy, but, uh, um, you know, spent, spent a bunch of time over a decade in the direct sales industry. And honestly, um, you know, calling leads, making sales has been my life. And so, you know, look, you know, the industry is like, Hey, you know, I saw the comps, all the leads, all the stuff, uh, all these things that we're doing now are things that I have in one form or fashion been doing, um, just wasn't making as much money doing it. So mm -hmm. glad to be back in the industry. Um, but yeah, like, you know, calling, texting leads, all that is something I've done for a long, long time. And mm -hmm. so uh, when I first heard about TurboTax, I was like, you know, at, well, at first I was like, well, that's, that's awesome. I thought, you know, before I saw it, I thought, I thought it was just kind of like a text blaster, you know, like, uh, you know, that you might put a bunch of people in a group and just fire something out and right, spray right. and pray. And then uh, <laughs> with all the campaigns and, and the templates and stuff, man, that just makes it so, so easy because I'm not a complicated person at all. I'm, I'm very simple. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I know. And it's it's one of those things where it's designed specifically for agents, for life insurance agents, for FFL agents, where... Um, it's not something they have to think up all the texts on their own. Like a new agent coming in doesn't really know what to say when it comes to texting. Uh, they have ideas and, and a lot of what they say probably is not the right thing. And they, they need some help. They need some structure. They need um, some tools, some proven texts and scripts that work uh, and word tracks that actually work. And then with, with TurboTax, it's all pre-built. So the text campaigns are pre-built. The, the text reply templates are pre-built. Um, all that. So when you when you first got it set up, um, just uh, tell tell people about your experience. Kind of like how long did it take before you started seeing uh, responses? Uh, you know how many how many leads did you text, and 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 just kind of your initial experience when it first got going and actually texting on its own. Yeah, absolutely. So just kind of you know what you said there. You know, even for somebody like myself who has done this, you know, it's not like. Like I just said, is that you know I've done you know these types of things for for a while now. I mean, you're you're calling, you're setting appointments, or you're doing telesales, whatever it is you're doing, and then to like shift and go, oh, I got you know messages that are a wide range of variety from no thank you to I already got coverage to mm -hmm. I'm interested to all this stuff. So, so to sit and go, okay, I gotta manually reply to this person. What do I say there? And and they might be like you know, they kind of fall into different categories and that's kind of how you have it set up, but it might be slightly different just like to really use the brain power after, with all of the other stuff that we have to do to try to come up with that stuff. Like I, <laughs> like yeah. I, I didn't want to do it. So right. that's that, but no, my, my first, um, my first batch of leads, uh, was actually 
with some internet leads I'd called through a few times. They were just kind of laying around and, you know, they were just going to go in the archive with the right, thousands right. of other leads that I bought. Collect and dust. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so yeah, I got, I got it set up and uh, I'm like, yeah, well, I think it was 140. I just threw them in there, uh, threw them in a campaign, the, the internet lead campaign, see what happens. Mm-hmm. And so I did that. And then um, let's see, I booked, that was on a, I think that was like a Saturday. And so, you know, right away you get some people that say, Hey, stop texting me, which is great. Cause it's like, Oh, I don't have to worry about those people anymore. Exactly. And then I booked one appointment. Um, end up the guy was like, call me Monday. So I called him Monday. We set an in-person appointment for Wednesday and end up that was uh, four families in that household. Right. That helped. So that was like first appointment, boom, right there. Yeah. And then uh, I got sick for like two weeks. Hmm. So I wasn't working at all for like two weeks straight. And that was the week before convention. And so I, I really wanted to be, you know, kind of get back in the field and do something before convention. So I remember I sat down at my desk, I opened up TurboTax and I had some replies. And this one person said, Hey, yeah, you know, call me. I'm interested, whatever. I don't even remember what he said. And so anyway, I ended up setting a zoom for this guy. Cause I wasn't ready. Like I ended up having a pneumonia, a bunch of stuff. I want to be around people. So right. I ended up doing a zoom with this guy and, uh, that to date, that was 11, 11 families. Wow. Right. And yeah. so, which was even more interesting. I think I told you about this. So that was, let's just call it first week of February that happened. He was a lead I got in December. Mm-hmm. Never got a hold of. I called him probably triple dialed him three times. But also when he when I when I called him on my call log on my phone, I use an app, I use a sideline app. Um, I could see that he was in my phone from October. I'm like, how'd this guy get into my phone? The only way he's in my sideline app is if I had an appointment with him at some time. Mm-hmm. So long story short, I he was a first time lead back in October, I'd booked an appointment with him. He canceled and it never got rescheduled. Then I got him again as a lead in December, never got a hold of him. And then mm. I think like seven TurboTax messages went out on the yes. seventh one, got him back and it ended up being 11 families. Wow. That, that's awesome. I love that. <laughs> I, I love when you catch them on like the, the drip campaign, right? Like maybe not the yeah. first text, second, third, fourth, but like the seventh one that goes out, like the last ditch, last hurrah, end of the month, you know, you've just been dripping on them. They finally respond and you're able to help that family, protect that family that no, no other agent would probably would have done that. I've sat there and, you know, texted them consistently. And I kind of, it kind of automatically shows that you're persistent. Like they, they get that feeling, the, the client, because that's happened to me. Like, wow, yeah, you're persistent. You get, I've, I've even, even had people reply back like A plus for persistency or, you know, A plus for effort. Cause it's just like, douche, douche. and you just keep hitting them and reminding them. And, and I think our clientele, they kind of need that reminder. They need uh, that constant, like, Hey, this is important. Remember this, you filled it out for a reason. Like, Hey, uh, and they're just like, yeah, I got to do that. I got to get that taken care of. You know, one, one call, it's easy for them to click, hang up or not answer. But when they get dripped on, it's just a constant reminder of, I got to, I got to get, get this taken care of, protect my family, you know? Yeah, for sure. I, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of shocked at, cause like all the leads that I put in are old leads. They're not, I haven't yeah. like put any new leads in. And so I'm just shocked that like you, even on calling, right. You, if you call through a lead batch, a hundred leads, doesn't matter what the lead type is. You call through them twice. Let's say you're like, well, that's done. You know, I've kind of worked it all. You haven't, right? You, you right. miss somebody some way, sort of throw them through there and then go, oh, shoot, I just, you know, help, you know, three, four families out of a batch I thought was dead is yep. incredible. Exactly. Yeah. I've definitely had that because when I first started, uh, it was just like tons of leads collecting dust in my CRM. I just said, oh, they're done. I was just like in the mindset, new leads every week, which, you know, is great. But there is a ton of of gold left in those lead batches that you, you're you're missing out on if you're not touching base with them or resolving them in some way. And especially for those of you guys doing telesales, you're not door knocking, right? You're all on your computer or phone. So I think Daniel Abbott said it best. It's like kind of like a virtual door knock um, when you text them. So yeah. it's like that, Hey, I'm here, you know, mm-hmm. remember this. And, uh, and I think that's, that's huge. And it's something when it comes to dialing, it's just as important, if not more important to be texting them as well and really just hitting them from both angles uh, and, and making sure that you're resolving that lead. 
Um, so I love that. Now, uh, I, with the with the software, you know, there's a lot of different features. Um, there is, you know, the the pre-built text. There's the campaigns. There's all dif different types of features. Um, you know, obviously, the text blasting, hitting tons of leads at once, uh, having it pre-built out, all the different stuff. If you had to pick out, out of uh, all the different features TurboTax offers, which actually it's like a client facing website now. Uh, if you had to pick one that was your favorite, that's like, hey, I love that it can do this. And this has been extremely helpful for me and my agents. What would you say that feature is? Well, I mean, I think we talked about it is the templates, mm -hmm. right? Like that, having that, I mean, I, um, I, I, I don't, I, I probably haven't used a lot of things that it can do. Yeah. Um, I've just, you know, been cycling, you know, cycling leads in and then very, like only maybe once or twice I found myself actually typing a response. Yeah. You know, because yeah. my goal, it's like, because yeah, I mean, you're selling, you're, you're trying to build an agency, uh, like it's tax time. I got two kids. Like I just, yeah, it's a you lot. know, a lot yeah. of stuff going on. I, I keep, while I'm on TurboTax, I keep thinking in my head as I'm responding to people, what's the easiest thing? And I know maybe this is not the right thing, thing, right? But like, what is the simplest thing to do? I don't want to have to think, just go fast, you yep. know, pick out the low hanging fruit and and keep rolling, right? So I just, um, so I started um, in FFL in May of mm -hmm. last year. So it's been 11 months. And so this past week, I took all of the internet leads I had uh, from last May and downloaded them through them all in TurboTax. And uh, I think I've done, it helped like three or four families from leads I bought a year ago. That's wild. Yeah. Right. And so you would think, oh, for sure, that's, that's done. And it was funny, like one of the, one of the ladies, like it was like, she got on the phone and she knew exactly what she wanted. It was like the quickest telesale, like mm -hmm. boom, 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 get me done. And I was just like, this is crazy. <laughs> and then another one of them, was a lady that I had booked an appointment with, sat with a year ago, week two. Mm -hmm. She told me no. Wow. And now a year later, got her in TurboTax and, you know, she's getting a policy. <laughs> right? Right? You know, the timing. It's just, maybe it's the right timing or whatever. Well, but I end up, like, we remembered each other. And I was yeah. like, hey, you, you're, you said that your husband was going to get some insurance. And you said no. And she's like, well, I said no then, but I'm saying yes now. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> okay. Go have to tell I'm me twice. I'm going to argue with you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just an efficient tool. You know, like yeah. I said, the, the I use the templates because it's like, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to have to yeah. create an extra like decision making process in my day. Right. It's you know that that thinking all that thinking it does take it's taxing, you know, like what do I say, you know? And it's like boom right there, especially for that newest agent. It's like I don't when they say it's too expensive, I don't know what to say, but scroll down to the template, just hit send and and it does the thinking for you. So, um cool. Yeah. And I and I will say like, you know, one thing that you know, I I noticed recently, it's like yeah, the temp the templates are great, but still like sometimes uh, let's say like the, the one text that goes out like hey you know is this zach mm -hmm. and then you hit him with the you know or, or you know the, who's this and they yeah. say yeah this is me and then hey this is josh lockhart blah blah blah, blah that whole thing yeah. like you might not hear him back right so you know i put those people on a list and you know we hit them again or sometimes people will um i have a short list of people that are like yes i think there's the one question uh, are you looking for an individual policy or a family? And yeah. they'll answer. They'll say individual or whatever they say. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, there's a person that's interested, but maybe they stop answering the text after that. Right. 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 So yeah, I'll, I'll put them on a list. When I'm doing my dials, I'll call them up. Hey, we were texting the other day. So, you yeah. know, it's it is as much as it just kind of does things for you, so to speak, in terms of like everything's kind of pre-written and things like that. Yeah. I mean, you have to kind of you know, take the initiative and, and make sure you're making contact with those people that raise their hand too. Exactly. Yeah. You, you just got to be able to determine who's interested and it kind of weeds all out, weeds them all out. The uninterested versus interested, you can tag them interested. Then you come back to them later. Cause obviously if they said they're looking for a policy for themselves, there's a level of interest there that now, you know, it's worth giving them a quick call right from the app and book an appointment over the, over the phone, or you can continue texting them. Uh, it, some people are different. People are weird. Every, you know, so people got call blockers on. Some people don't want to talk on the phone. Uh, some people I've heard of doing complete sales completely over text. 
you know, giving away their personal info, but they'd rather just not talk to someone for whatever reason and fine, you know, text them uh, and, and take care of them that way. So super cool. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll kind of wrap it up with this. I, I know some of your agents have been using it. Uh, I've gotten some good, really good feedback. I'm getting texts almost every day of people getting uh, sales and, and booking appointments. And it's fun to see people winning. Um, do you have any like kind of stories or any anything you've heard from some of your agents, your personal team that uh, has been using the software and seen success? Um, well, you, well, obviously, you know, Daniel, I mean, he's, yep. he's crushing, he's sent a bunch of appointments. He's got a guy named Barry that's, that's doing the same. Yep. Um, and I mean, it's like, yeah, it's every, every week it's like, oh, you know, that was a turbo tax, you know, it was, you know, this yep. much or that much or whatever. Something interesting that I did this week, um, you know, Ab and I were talking about is you know, taking the aged aged mortgage, like the mm-hmm. two to 10 year old mortgage. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I, you know, he's been, get, it's kind of bothering me. He's getting better results than I am. And it's like <laughs> texting. I'm like, like, do you have a special number or something? <laughs> but, um, no, we, we bought some of those. Cause they're like, they're like $2 or it was just super, super cheap. cheap. Yeah. And we threw those in there and, um, uh, we kind of shared, we made a, like a little campaign, super short, like four text or whatever yeah. it is. And, um, you know, these are years old uh leads and we both got appointments and uh supposed to uh wrap up the sale tomorrow from that that's amazing and so you get you know i went and got a, what 100 age leads for like 200 bucks mm-hmm. just threw them in turbo text you know boom see what happens and you know i'm gonna get a you know 15x return yeah <laughs> yeah it's wild uh, i yeah. love that yeah yeah that's a good idea i know uh Daniel's getting creative. Some other agents are getting creative and I want them to, they're creating their own campaigns right there. Oh, let me try this initial tax or, you know, switch it up a little bit and an experiment and, uh, and see what's the most effective, what works best. Like if we all work together, put our heads together, test different uh, strategies, we're going to find what works really, really well. And obviously take that, duplicate that to the newest agent and help them win as well. So it's all all about us working together um, and, and really leveraging text because that's really the future. Like less and less people want to talk on the phone, less and less people are answering their phone. Uh, and if we can really narrow down and hone in uh, the tech strategy, uh, we can really, uh, I think, level up and scale in a, in a big way. So it's exciting to see um, that going on with the creativity. I love it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, something we've been talking about, I don't, I don't, neither of us have like done this yet. So I can't be like, this works, but you know, typically you call them. I, and I still, I, I mean, I still think calling people first, like, you know, yep. and then put them in text is the way to go. That's the way uh, I do it. Yeah. But I just wonder, I just wonder, like, especially if you can get like some cheap old leads and throw them in the text campaign first. And then you'll get a bunch of people that just say, stop, don't bother me. They'll kind of sift out. Yep. And then, and then after the camp, the campaign kind of runs its course for a few days, then take those out and then call those people. Yep. Right. Cause yeah. then, you'll, then you'll, you know, kind of maybe sift out some of the stuff that you want, want to spend time with anyway. And then when you call, you can be like, Hey, you know, this is Josh. We've been texting back and forth. Probably got somebody. I'm a real person. I wonder how that would work. I don't know, but that's just a thought. It's a good idea. It's worth a shot. I mean, you know, uh, it's, yeah, it's worth experimenting with. And I, I, I'd say, give it a go, see what happens. And, and uh, cause yeah, you're, it's kind of like sifting gold, right? All the dirt falls out <laughs> and then the gold kind of floats to the top and that's what you want. It's the good stuff. And yeah. that's uh, the people you want to talk to the people that actually want what you have to offer and are open to learning more about what you have, what you have to offer. So yeah, absolutely. that's a good idea. I love it. So well, cool, man. Uh, I really appreciate you, you know, hopping on here, taking the time, um, kind of sharing your thoughts and your experience. And, and uh, I know we just want to make um, the tool as effective as possible, right? I want to ax that's sharp, that works well, it's fine tuned. So I can cut down some trees, right? And it's the same thing with TurboTax. I want to really refine it. Uh, I want to see people winning. I want obviously the, everyone to profit tremendously and, and save a lot of time. Um, that's the goal. So uh, I'm super stoked. You've had some amazing results uh, right off the bat and same with some of your agents. And I've, I'm getting texts every day, people winning. So it's fun to see. Um, yeah. But, um, but yeah, th- thanks for hopping on, man. And, uh, and uh, I'm excited to see, you know, what you're going to come up with in the future and, and uh, your team and, and uh, how effective it's going to be moving forward with telesales and everything else we got going Absolutely. on at FFL. Yeah.
Appreciate you. All right. You too. See you later.